Meghan Markle is back in the headlines, but this time it's for a performance worthy of a show. The latest episode in her saga involves a supposed appearance at Tyler Perry's birthday party. Yet, it seems the real drama is not what happened at the party, but rather how Meghan and Prince Harry staged their grand entrance. The setting was Tyler Perry's opulent Montecito mansion, a 31 million estate that supposedly played host to a star-studded birthday bash. While one might expect photos of an extravagant event with various A-list celebrities, what we get instead is a peculiar focus on Meghan and Harry, almost as if they are the only stars in the galaxy. According to insider whispers and our sharp-eyed observers, it's highly plausible that Meghan has self-orchestrated the paparazzi's presence. Far from being an accidental sighting, it appears that Meghan might have personally summoned the photographers, ensuring her presence was both publicized and perfectly timed. One can almost imagine her giving directions like a director on a movie set, ensuring every angle was just right for a carefully curated photo op. The images that have surfaced show Meghan and Harry arriving at Perry's lavish property, but here's where it gets interesting. The pictures capture them in a car, grinning like Cheshire cats with no evidence of them actually mingling with the supposed party guests. It's as though the entire event was a meticulously planned photo shoot, rather than a genuine social gathering. Adding to the spectacle is Meghan's almost absurdly prominent smile and Harry's noticeable discomfort. The contrast between their forced cheerfulness and the lack of any genuine party atmosphere raises eyebrows. It's as if Meghan's smile was put on a little too thick, possibly because she knew the cameras would be right there to catch her every move. Critics are having a field day with this latest stunt. One fan commented, I don't believe for a minute that they were at Tyler Perry's birthday party. Unless more details have come out, nothing in the article claimed the pictures were at his house. It said they were spotted driving out of a 31 million mansion. It never said whose mansion. They don't have pictures of them with anyone at the party. Pictures of Noah in another car don't count. Everything in the article reads just like her racism claims and Harry's description of labor shenanigans at Meghan's birth. There's always plenty of room for plausible deniability with them. When someone leaks that they weren't there, it'll be. They never said they were there. It was the evil press that said it. Another commented, did they actually attend that party or just drive around with back grid snapping pictures? Where are the photos of them at the party? One would expect Markle to flood the media with pictures of her hugging all of those Hollywood elites, claiming that they are all her best friends but nothing. Very interesting bets are on that they never went and weren't even invited. Adding another layer to the drama, there's speculation about the whereabouts of Meghan and Harry's children. While they were reportedly out enjoying Tyler Perry's bash, the couple's two children were conspicuously absent. This raises questions about whether they were left behind with a nanny or if they were conveniently omitted from the public narrative altogether. The timing of the paparazzi shots also suggests a bit of damage control. With recent negative press surrounding Meghan and Harry, the images released from the party seem like a well-timed attempt to counteract unfavorable coverage. This strategic release of pictures appears to be part of a broader tactic to bolster Meghan's public image and shift focus away from ongoing controversies.